Para el... No, subimos un kilo más. Un kilo más. Uh, un kilo más para el primer no, intento de Mercedes no, 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 no. en Colombia. Made weight, no problem, right? Yeah, made weight, good, uh, 76, 6, 7. Con el número uno de Venezuela, Junior Antonio Sánchez Rivero. Número cuatro, número four from USA de los Estados Unidos, Travis Daniel Cooper. Número cinco. It was a tough meet for me. I didn't have my best performance, obviously. Um, you know, so snatches didn't go well. Ended out just kind of lowering my openers to score team points because we obviously need to score team points to get them into the big slot. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just wasn't my day. And, and someone hopefully will be an Olympian from the U.S. and that's not going to be me. Um, and I wish the rest of the team luck. So what sort of shape were you in coming into? into the, the week? I mean, we'd, we'd heard that you weren't feeling well, that maybe you had like a stomach bug or something. So what, what was that all about? Yeah, I did, I did get a little stomach bug like two days ago, but honestly, I felt good. I, I think I was in shape for the meet. I think that I felt good in warm-ups, and I, I don't really have any, uh, there, there's nothing I can point to. It just wasn't my day. It's the way the, way the story was written, and uh, you know, I'm gonna keep training, and, and there's more to it. And hopefully the guys continue to build on it. Obviously, Alex didn't have a great day. And then I kind of had a mediocre day. And so hopefully these guys can build on it and kind of get into the meet and build confidence as a team. What does it feel like to be the first guy to kind of score points for the team, to kind of break the ice like that? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to score points. Obviously, um, you know, I was expecting to, to medal. Um, regardless of who was in the hunt for team points, I medaled at Pan Am before twice, and, and I was really expecting, like, on a mediocre day to scoop up a bronze medal. So um, it feels good. You know, we, we changed the strategy, and it feels good to give the guys some points going in. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a long quad. You know, I've been on every team, and, and I guess, you know, just taking the positive out of it, it was a very positive quad for me. Um, before this quad, I had never made a, a senior international team. I was very close, but I was an 85 kilo lifter, and so was Kendrick. And there was a few 
other 85s are very, very good. And so I was always like seventh to 11 on the ranking list, but I was always the third or fourth 85. So coming into the squad, I made every single international team. Um, I was the only male to do that. And so I'm very proud of that. And even though today didn't go my way, I feel like it was a very successful quad and I'm gonna move into the next one. I'm gonna take a couple months off here and I'm gonna keep training. You know, 309 is obviously, that's, that's a good 15 kilos below what I would do on a bad day. And so, you know, I hope people see that after the snatch, we realize, okay, like there's no chance for me to be the Olympian. At that point, my Olympic dreams are over. So I really just went back and like meditated and said, you know what, like I have to score team points. And I told them, I said, look, it, you know, it's not about me anymore, it's about the team. Like just put the lightest weight on the bar that we can score team points. And, and I don't care what it is. So I'm not prideful at all. I don't, I don't care, like, I don't care about that number. I just hope people understand that we took the lightest weights we needed to score points because we're in a sticky situation. We're on eggshells now. Everybody has to get those points. So yeah, I mean, I, I personally understand the whole story, so I hope everyone else understands that too.